You could also have a cell that doesn't have a sex chromosome get fertilized by a cell that has one sex chromosome. So you could hypothetically have XO. You could hypothetically have YO. All right. If the non-disjunction happens earlier in meiosis, you can end up with cells that are like XXXXY or XXXXX. So people, if you look at the literature, there are individuals oftentimes who had no idea that they had an unusual number of sex chromosomes who turn out having some combination, you know, XXX, XXXX, you know, all of the possible combinations you can imagine are out there. So the one of these that is a really big problem is the first one on the list. And if you are Y, O, and that's it, that means you have one sex chromosome and it's a Y and you have no X, you are dead, all right? It's a fairly drastic syndrome. Um, you cannot survive without an X chromosome, but you can survive without it. I'm sorry, you can't survive without an X chromosome. You can survive without a Y. So on your, um, on your uh, lecture notes, I gave you sort of a, a table of some of the syndromes that result from these. Um, I just put up here uh, an individual who has, who's XO, all right, and this is what the spread of chromosomes from them would look like. And an individual who is XXY, and what the spread of chromosomes would look like from them. And so, yes? So is that XXY, does that result in like being degenerative? So XXY results in a syndrome that they have named Kleinfelter syndrome, after one of the people who discovered it. Um, and the, the phenotypic, like the trait effects of it are, are relatively mild. Um, it's slight feminization of the individual. And by that, in this context, we mean a little bit of breast development. So people who are XXY have a little bit of breast development. They have smaller testes, and oftentimes testes that don't mature fully or properly. Um, and they have often slighter shoulders like more narrow shoulders. So there is a bit of an effect on individuals of being XXY, but they're male. I mean, typically recognized as male. Individuals who are XO, there are some consequences of this. Um, they're shorter stature. They often have a little bit of a widening of the neck that some individuals will have corrected surgically um, when they're young. But other than that, I mean, they're healthy individuals. Yeah. So like, we've been talking a lot about all these different kinds of syndromes Basically, just like failure to um, like divide the chromosomes properly amongst the different cells. So, what is the likelihood that someone even has just one of them? Like, like one out of how many people would have some syndrome? It's a good question. It seems like it seems like they're it's so easy that yeah. having to a complex process, and there's so many different combinations and so many syndromes that result from. It. Yeah, um, it's a great question. I don't know. Like in, let's say if you looked at a thousand people, what proportion of them would have a, um, an atypical chromosomal makeup? But I bet, it's, I bet it's fairly high. I mean, I bet high enough that everybody knows somebody or has met somebody, whether they know it or not, who has an atypical number of chromosomes, right? I, I don't know specifically what the total frequency is in the population. Um, but that's something that you could probably look up. In that, in that small, like, like tear or ripple, like in that one person had like a really big effect on like other people. Like, is that, is that increasing? I, I just don't know. Um, scary. I mean, I would. I I'm not a hundred percent sure, but I would suspect that sex chromosome non disjunction also increases with maternal age. Okay. I'm not, I know Down syndrome does, and I assume other non-disjunctions do. I, I haven't seen the data on that. Um, so I would say that it is increasing because, at least in some countries, because the age 
at which mothers typically give birth is going up. And so in that sense, it's going up, but it's not like something that's, you know, exploding 200%. Right. Yeah. What? Okay, so just sort of bouncing off of that. So there's a, at least a fair number, and when you say a high percentage, I mean, even one out of 100, that's pretty high sure. considering how many people. What happens when these people have kids? I feel like, I feel like being as this is the whole nature of the transfer of information, we should have tons of, of people that are this way, being as if those people can go on not even knowing and, and, and have children, why, why aren't there more? Why is this not replicating even faster than it is? Well, one reason is that in, in some of these um, atypical sex chromosome numbers, um, fertility is reduced. So like Klein-Felter fertility is lower. Um, and I think there may be some cases where people with Klein-Felter are, are reproductively viable. Um, but often, like, something can be a little bit off about their gonadal development. So when they make testes or ovaries, it can be a little bit disrupted. And so you might have lower fertility as a result of it. Um, and it kind of depends on the sex chromosome issue you're talking about, whether it directly impacts fertility or not. Right? But I, uh, Kleinfelter, I'm pretty sure, does impact. Because I'm about to tell you something else about Kleinfelter, um, where I know that in this case it does impact fertility. And I assume that extends to to humans. Um, but it's kind of, I, I think it's, it, by the way, also, a student was asking me a question earlier about sort of other things that can go on with the sex chromosomes. And so we were looking up, um, and I was telling him about something called translocation, where a piece of a chromosome can be attached to another chromosome it's not supposed to be part of. And so there are many, many cases in the literature where there are individuals who are like, XX, but male, because the piece of the Y that determines sex is broken off and attached to one of their X chromosomes. All right. Huh? Or they're XY, but develop as a female because the piece of the Y is broken off that, that influences development into a male. So literally, pretty much anything you can think of that could occur there are people that that has occurred. Somebody had a hand up. Yes. 